But what about people who've already contracted COVID and recovered? Do they still need to get vaccinated? Seven investigator Heather Catalo shows us how this surprisingly large group of people play into the state's back to normal plan. Colleen Zamet and her family know COVID all too well. We've all now had it in our family. In the fall, Colleen, her husband, and her teenage son got the virus. Then her two daughters got COVID this past spring. Fortunately for all of them, it was mild and they recovered. Thankfully, we all handled it very well. On the other side now, Colleen is faced with a question. Does she get vaccinated? Does she have her two eldest kids get vaccinated? She's just not sure. We're just not inclined to get vaccinated for something that we've already had. As of now, Colleen is holding off until her immunity runs out. If the boosters are something that are going to happen, I think we'll all be going in to get our booster shot. But how long does infection immunity last? They say once you recover, you can get it. With limited data on that, many doctors are still encouraging you to get vaccinated if it's been three to six months since you've had COVID. While I agree, it's unlikely that somebody who recovered from documented COVID is going to get reinfected within 90 days or six months. We don't think so. The reports are rare, but it does happen. Dr. Joel Fishbane is an infectious disease doctor with Beaumont Health. He says it was okay with previously infected people holding off on getting vaccinated in the winter when shots were hard to get. Today, however, he sees no downside in just getting vaccinated. The vaccine is clearly very effective and very safe. So, you know, it's one of those things, well, why wait? Those with antibodies do play a role in herd immunity. There's two ways to get to herd immunity, you know, either through vaccination, which is certainly preferable or or infection. Starting next week, the state will allow in-person work for all sectors of business. That step toward normalcy is possible because last week Michigan hit a milestone. 55 percent of the population over age 16 had received a shot. While the My Vac to Normal plan is based on herd immunity goals, the numbers only include vaccines. It's never talked about in the Vax to Normal plan in terms of meeting those thresholds. That's possibly because it would be really hard to keep track of people's changing immunity status as they recover from COVID-19. So experts continue to encourage everyone to get vaccinated so the state can have a clear sense of our collective immunity. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Meantime,